Hi everybody, welcome back to another lesson in my level three beginner piano course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about a new key, the D major scale and its primary chords. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up. Also, I offer online piano lessons. If you're looking for one, there's going to be information below. It's time to learn a new key signature, a new scale, and some new chords. Today, we're going to learn about D major. The D major scale, as the name says, is going to start on the note D, and it uses the same major scale pattern, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, or whole step, whole step, half step, whole, 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 half step, as the other major scales we learned, the C, G, and F. Now, let's try to work out these intervals, and let's see what happens when we don't get the interval we need. So we start on D, we need a tone, so E is a tone, then we need another tone, but F is going to be a semitone, so we need to sharpen the F. And now we have a tone between E and F. Then we need a semitone, so F sharp and G is a semitone. The next note has to be a tone, so A. Another tone, B. And we need another tone, so again, this is not going to work because there's no black key, so we need to sharpen the C and it becomes C sharp and then we need another semitone, which is D. So the two sharps of D major are F sharp and C sharp in this order. So D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. And this is the D major scale. The fingering is identical to the previous scales C and G, so we start one, two, three, then a crossing under, one under G, two, three, four, five, coming back, four, three, two, one, crossing over number three onto the F sharp, two, and one. So we've got two groups, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. The left hand starts again on D, same notes, starting on five, five, four, three on the F sharp, two, one, number three on the B, C sharp and D. Coming back, two, three, crossing one under onto the A, G, F sharp, E and five on the D. So lots of separate hand practice before you can actually start putting it together. Remember, with every scale, the main purpose is first of all to get comfortable in the set of keys that D major presents, but also to practice playing evenly and with smoothness all the way through. If you hear unevenness in the speed or in the sound, you need to stop and fix it. Do not practice scales with uneven sound or speed. This is what uneven speed would sound like. where you go fast, then you stop, hesitate, carry on, slow down. Don't do that. Start playing really slowly, making sure the beat stays constant. Use a metronome if needed. Uneven sound means that certain fingers will make a louder sound than others. This is especially dangerous when you play with the thumb, as it's a really strong finger, so... When you do a thumb cross thing and you really let the thumb hit the note. So listen out for all the notes being roughly the same volume. And having a beautiful lateral motion of the hand going up, coming back, not keeping the wrist stiff, leading the melody with the arm and the wrist. When you mastered the scale with the right and the left hand, then it's time to put it hands together. F sharp right hand changes to one, A, left hand crosses over three, and D, coming back, three on the Bs, left hand crosses under, right hand crosses over three to the F sharp, and there we are. That's our D major scale. Now let's learn about the primary chords of D major as we need to know the basic chords in order to understand accompaniments and to read music quicker in a certain key. 
So the first chord of D major is going to start on the first note of the scale, so D, and we need the third and the fifth note. So one, two, three, four, five. So D F sharp A is going to be our chord one, D major. The fourth chord is going to start on the fourth note. So one, two, three, four is going to start on G and is going to be a G major chord. So one, two, three, four, five. We always need the first, the third, and the fifth in order. So this is chord four, G major. And chord five is going to start on A, the fifth note. One, two, three, four, five. So the third and the fifth, A, C sharp, E. This is our fifth chord, the dominant chord. Chord one, chord four, and chord five. Now let's work around these chords a little bit. Uh, chord one is going to stay as it is, but chord four is very far away from chord one, so we can move the D down to the bottom. We inverted it, it's an inversion, so we're going to put one, three, five, it's an inverted G major chord, and now the change is much easier. With the five chord, the A major chord, we're going to add the seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. G is the seventh, so this is our chord five, seven. We're going to move down the C sharp to the bottom. We're going to move the G to the bottom and we're going to leave out the E. So C sharp, G, E is going to be our inverted chord five, seven. One, four, five. Now let's see how much easier it is to move between the three chords. Chord one, chord four, chord five, seven, and back to chord one. Left hand, chord one, chord four, chord five, seven, and chord one. And these are the primary chords and their easiest inversions in the key of D major. Don't forget the new key signature. In D major, we've got the two sharps. So if you see the two sharps at the start of any piece of music, then you need to know that every F and every C in that piece of music is going to be sharp.